Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be talking about how I got hacked. Except I wouldn't really say I was hacked. I, I, I did something stupid and I got all my passwords compromised. So yeah, but I still thought I'd share it with you guys and also give you some tips on how to not have this happen to you and how to prevent it because it really does suck, it, you know, having everything compromised. So, so instead of waiting until you get hacked to start like actually caring about your security, I would recommend just, you know, doing it now um so you don't have to deal with it in the future but anyways so basically let's just say i was downloading um a software I, i'm not gonna go into specifics especially if my uh, internet provider is watching this um <laughs> nothing to see here but anyways i downloaded what i thought was the right file for this software and it turned out to be fake because it was like on the page that I downloaded it from. It was just this like random button on here, but it still like seemed legit because it had the right name and stuff. And unfortunately, I opened it. It had password protection, which, oh my God, never make that mistake. And I still, even after all that, I didn't really trust it. I was like, there's no way this is like, you know, real. And after all that, I, my dumbass still opened it. I mean, it didn't do anything. At least it seemed like that at first. Like nothing visibly even happened on my screen. I I just clicked the file and nothing happened but i assumed that it was doing something on my computer so i immediately got rid of it i uninstalled it immediately but it didn't really do anything because what it was doing it was grabbing all my passwords from google chrome password manager which not my proudest moment though i didn't see anything really happen until like days later when i saw that some of my accounts were getting logged into. For example, my Amazon account was the first one I noticed to be compromised because the, the, I don't know, whoever got these passwords, they logged into my Amazon account and they tried using my debit card to put like $50 on there because they wanted to buy a Roblox card. I don't have any proof of it. They wanted to buy a $50 Roblox card though. So just take my word for it. I promise you that's what they wanted to do. And it's just so silly, dude. But thankfully the purchase didn't go through. So thank God for that. And I was on vacation when I saw that happened as well which was even more concerning because I didn't really have much of like room to do anything about it because I wasn't even home but then I also saw my google accounts uh trying to get logged into this one said it was logged into by someone from Moldova oh that's pretty interesting and also some of my roblox accounts some of them do have 2FA and it sent, uh, you know, codes to my email. I believe whoever was trying to log in, they're using a VPN. Either that or they're just traveling a lot. I mean, you know, good for them. This first one I got from Phoenix, Arizona, and then I got another from Bangkok, Bangkok, Thailand. So, you know, if you know anyone from there, tell them to stop. But anyways, I have already changed all my passwords. I've only lost like two Roblox accounts, which I don't really care for. They're like alts that I didn't really care about. But other than that, I've kept all my accounts. Everything has been fine. Thankfully, this hacker doesn't really care for much except Roblox for some reason, which, you know, I, I guess good for them. But yeah, and now I just also want to give you guys some tips on how to not go through this as I did, because if I had known these, it would have helped me a lot. Firstly, just a basic security tip. If you're gonna download stuff from the internet that you don't trust, or like you don't really know about, you're not sure about, and then it has password protection on the file, do not touch that shit. Do not, it is a virus 99% of the time. And I would not risk it for that 1% of the time that it's not a virus, because 99% of the time it is a virus. It is malware, it is spyware, whatever. I promise you, you do not wanna open those. And sometimes they're not even password protected. You just really got to be careful. But most of the time they are password protected because it makes it easier to get through uh, file encryption services and stuff. And so like whatever they're uploading them to can't tell that it's a virus until, you know, you download it to your computer and open it and see that it's one. And the passwords are always something super easy, like one, two, three, four, or literally just like password or like the name of wherever you downloaded it from. If it's something like that, it's most likely a virus. None of these files you're downloading are so important that they need to be password protected. It is simply because they are viruses. That is why they will have password protection. There's like no other reason. Secondly, do not use a browser password manager like the password manager on Chrome or Firefox or whatever browser you use. I don't judge. Um, do not use those. I see why they're appealing and to be fair, I did use the Chrome password manager for years, but now that this has happened, I've switched completely over to another password manager. The reason you want to stay away from them is that they are very easy to 
get compromised. They are like, you know, it takes like nothing to get your passwords from them. As appealing as it is because you can log in fast on websites, I don't recommend doing it. I'd rather take like three seconds longer to log in than have to worry about my passwords getting stolen at all times. And with that being said, also use an actual password manager. Personally, I use Bitwarden. It's an open source one. This isn't sponsored. I don't know why I'm saying all this like it's a sponsored segment. I just appreciate them because it's a good password manager. It's completely free. It also generates completely randomized passwords for you. So you can just use those on all your websites, all your accounts, and you can use different passwords for each one. Keep them on, you know, the password manager so you don't have to remember them. All you need is just one master password and you have access to all your passwords. They also have extensions for, you know, your browsers and mobile apps so you can like log in fast on your phone too. And yeah, I recommend using something like that because it's, um, is good. And that brings me into my third one, my third tip. Do not use the same password, like, ever. Trust me, I did this for a long time. I used, like, the same three passwords for all of my accounts, and each one of them got compromised over the years, and yet I still kept them for some reason. Awful idea. If you are gonna use the same password, make sure it's not an easy one to crack. Like, the one password I have to remember is for my password manager, and I tried making it easy to remember, but also hard to crack. But yeah, I'd recommend using randomized passwords for everything. Um, don't use the same password more than once, just randomized randomize something for every single account. It's gonna make you a lot safer because if one password gets compromised, it won't matter because you can just fix that rather than if you use the same password for everything. One password gets compromised, every single one of your accounts is compromised. Bad idea. Don't do it. But anyways, uh, I hope this video was interesting to you. Um, I hope it was informative, I guess. I don't know why. <laughs> the idea of getting hacked online, it really sucks. Uh, I don't recommend it. Really, as soon as you can, work on securing all your accounts. Oh yeah, also make sure to use two-factor authentication when you can. I'd really only recommend doing that for accounts that you use a lot. It is very, very useful making sure you don't get hacked. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all. How do I stop recording?